Snow White is the one that started it all, and uh, clearly it needs to be protected. This, this film was something that started an entire generation and an entire industry moving in a, in a whole new direction. Since its premiere, Snow White has been a crown jewel of the Walt Disney Studios, but over the decades, it was inevitable that the jewel would lose some of its luster. In order to make Snow White sparkle again for her 50th anniversary in 1987, an exhaustive film restoration was undertaken, beginning at its source, the fragile and volatile original nitrate negative. When I started back about 20 years ago at the company, I mean, all the original nitrate negatives were sitting on Dopey Drive. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to take these assets, okay, because we were lucky to have them. A lot of studios threw their nitrate away. We found the original nitrate negatives and we took them and we created a new answer print and a new restoration master. However, all the photographed in dirt, all the damage that was in the film that they never saw in 37, today's technology brought a lot of that out. So the first time I saw Snow White in the beautiful 1987 restored version for the 50th anniversary, I was generally horrified. I couldn't believe how much dirt was actually in the film. So it really set up as to how we could do this better. In 1993, Disney found a way to do it better in partnership with a Kodak division known as Cineon. The restored 1987 film element was imported into the computer and each of the tens of thousands of frames was cleaned and refurbished. We ended up giving ourselves six months to restore the entire 118,000 frames. And that's what happened and ultimately ended up being a incredible process that generated much more than we ever anticipated. It really was the best version we ever created. With the continuing advances in digital technology and preservation methods, Disney realized that although only eight years had passed since the Cineon restoration, the world had turned. One of the big things that's happened since uh, the early 90s is the, uh, the introduction of high definition video, which wasn't available to us. So the Cineon restoration, which was done at very high resolution, wasn't able to be taken advantage of fully at that time because all we had was standard definition video formats. So that was sort of the first step of saying, you know, we can go back and do something even better now using today's technology. We found a way to take those original Cineon files, the computer files, and convert them directly into a video signal without going through a film intermediate. So we were able to eliminate an entire film generation process from what you're going to be able to see on this DVD. We were then able to add the tools that are available in color correction, in grain reduction. So the clarity that's left is like you were looking at the original cell animation art itself. It's pretty incredible. To be sure that Snow White looked her best, Two of her longtime friends were invited to inspect her new attire. We brought Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston in to have a look at the color correction while it was going on to, to sort of ensure that the, the mood was set the way they imagined it. They were extremely pleased. They said the colors was you know, things that they really remember what the original 37 version was about. And that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to maintain the original artistic integrity of the film but also take advantage of today's technologies to bring it really to the public in its best possible way. To equal the sparkling new picture, a dazzling sound restoration was also produced. We have a two-stage process that we do in the restorations. The first process is the denoising, de-clicking, re-equalization, and cleanup of the audio track. So we have restored an audio track that should represent the original release the way it may have been heard back in 1937. We have a secondary process that takes this restoration of the monaural track and creates a 5.1 stereo mix out of it. But in no way do we want to try to take something away from the original intent of the soundtrack by doing something that may not uh, have been approved by the filmmakers at that time. I always, when I'm restoring these and doing the 5.1, I always try to keep in the back of my mind, would the original filmmakers have liked what I'm doing here? We were able to bring some fullness and some life to this track that you never, ever, including the original theatrical release of this movie, could have heard before. So the, the sound is better than ever. 
So is the picture.